All right. So let me get y'all tapped in real quick and let me give y'all update. Um, I've been having past life regression work. That's been my number one topic, uh, here of lately. Just bear with me. I'm going to get y'all all caught up. Um, make sure y'all are liked and subscribed and have the notification bell on. This was, um, this was requested by uh, a fellow, you know, a fellow, what you call it, an uh, Instagrammer. So. <laughs> For real. Ask and you will receive. Ask and you will receive. So with that simple truth, and it works, y'all. It works. There's going to be five questions, about about five questions, I'm just rounding it, that you can ask that are going to help you be more spiritual. And these questions are going to be, what is my spirit mineral that's a crystal type thing. What is my spirit mineral? What is my spirit mineral? And what you do is you think these, you ask yourself, and in perfect timing, you will receive an answer. So you might ask yourself, what is my spirit mineral? And then all of a sudden, an answer comes to the surface uh, a week later, and it might say lapis lazuli. Um, and that would be your spirit mineral. So that's that's just an example of how the process works. The, the thing is with this truth is asking you will receive imperfect timing, imperfect timing. And, um, let's see, let's get more into it. The other question is going to be, I hope y'all got it. Cause I'm going to say less. Uh, the other question is going to be, what is my shadow side mineral? The next question is, what is my spirit animal? And the next question is, what is my shadow side spirit animal and you know i've received answers for all these we could do a, a video where i disclose all my answers you know um that i have gotten you know I, I think the recent the most recent was my shadow side uh spirit animal that was released to me uh again the wisdom just comes to you um seemingly just out of nowhere it just kind of just it comes it comes about <laughs> out of the great abyss from within you it comes about uh the answer will come to you in perfect timing you know um and you know having faith and just you know patience and stuff hopefully y'all are well disciplined and know that you got to have faith whenever you get an answer in perfect timing you know what i'm saying the answer is going to come to you in perfect timing. Maybe a perfect timing is like 10 years down the line for a specific question. But what those questions are going to do is help you become more spiritual. And yeah, you're going to have to be in tune to that asking a question and receiving. Because that's exactly how you're going to get your past life regression work done. See, um, let's, let's say the first time that I... 
So the first time I ever had an idea was, I'm just giving you all my story. The first time I ever had an idea, I was working for Macy's Distribution Center. And I had looked at my own shadow while I was inside of this crate. And I had seen this type of helmet type thing and it shook me. And it wasn't the only time I had seen it. And then later on, whenever I came back to Mississippi from working out there in um, Portland, Tennessee at Macy's Distribution Center, whenever I came back to Tennessee, I had realized that I could do a meditation. So if you don't know what meditation is, let's observe the definition real quick. The definition of meditation or, or meditating, you know, for me is observation of thought. You cannot meditate if you are focused on the path. It, it, past, it is observation of thought. You know, I'm present. Becoming present. Observe, all right, I'm just going to lay down in the garden now. Bada, bada, bada. I got a blanket on. I hate clothes. I don't know why our rights are stripped from us where we're not free at all. We're not free to do anything. We're not even free to wear our bare skin. Now, further into this... um. You're going to want to ask yourself this question during meditation. Who was I in a past life? And if it is the perfect timing, you're going to have something. Let's say, let's, let's give you an example of what happened to me. I was in my meditation, you know, three, six, nine, sitting down meditating. And I thought to myself, who was I in a past life? And I had this figure walk up to me that was like a shadow and gave me a name. And the name, I seen it kind of like come across the the screen, what I call it, you know, with the image that you're attuned to. So the name came across, um, Suski. So I, heard, I seen Suski. And um, then I asked, after I seen that, I asked a next question. Where are you from? Because I wasn't going to get any other information than that. I asked, where are you from? And I heard Japan. And then I asked, where did, where did you die? And I heard China. When did you die? 1947. That is specific answers that I had, I'd got asking you to receive. That is specific answers that I had got during a meditation. And soon after that, I, well, I asked this question. What? How, no, I asked this question. I asked, um, what language did you speak? And that was North Korean and it was, uh, Japanese. So Korean or South Korean and Japanese. And whenever you look into that, I researched, um, 1947 war in China and there was a war in 1947 in China with Japan that I didn't know anything about prior. You know what I'm saying? Maybe the little bit that I had heard of in news and then in past lives, you know, of course, like it happened to you in a past life. So of course I knew about China and I knew about the China war because I died in it. Uh, me, in a sense, we are not able to die. We're infinite spiritual beings having a human experience and we're, we're immortal. There's, there, we're, we're not able to die. Um, in a sense. So. Let's go, you know, basically like being in this low dimensional realm is hell. <laughs> this is hell. Um, so let's go into furtherly. That is going to give you a lot of answers right there. Just doing your sit down, 369 mantra, meditation, legs crossed on the couch, meditating. That's going to give you a lot of answers in a sense. But different strategies are going to work for different folk. I'm just telling you exactly what worked for me. And um, then I had got synchronicities. Pay attention to synchronicities. Bob Marley was all on my Instagram feed. And the question just arose out from within me. After I had asked the question, who was I in a past life? And I kept asking it in my meditations. This, this, this answer just came out behind me. It was a question. Was I Bob Marley in a past life? And it was synchronicity. It, I wasn't even thinking it. It just came up within me. And I said, I said, was I Bob Marley in a past life? Was I Bob Marley in a past life? And it wasn't like, it was just an answer. You know what I'm saying? It was coming up. It was like being regurgitated to me. And then I had um, noticed that Bob Marley had markings on his skin. He had markings all over his skin. Then I had realized Suski 
was in a war, and I already had knew that Suski got ate up with bullets, bayonet wounds, all this, or I got ate up with bullets, bayonet wounds, and all this in a pa- in a life where I was Suski, and then Bob Marley had these markings on the skin. Pay attention to the markings on the skin. If you have big bayonet slashes in you, you probably died in the in the China War with a lot of folk. And if you're attracted to this, you might you might have, or you might have been in another war in a sense. But let's go further into this. Bob Marley had these markings, and they matched up perfectly with mine. So instantly, after having that synchronicity, after having the markings match up perfectly, after having the knowledge that I died and I was Suski, then I knew that I was Bob Marley. Then, even further, let's say I met uh, I met one person who I'd done a meditation on, and I found out it was Suski's wife, and she had memories of Suski uh, in this life. And, you know, the nukes got dropped over there after Suski went to war. The nukes got dropped on everybody there. In a sense, the folk I'm staying here with got the got the nukes dropped on them. And so did probably my wife, and if she didn't get out of there. Yeah, um, in that past life. And I had found that in another, you know, just asking questions. Was, was this person my wife? You know, was this person... Uh, name specified my wife in a past life asking those questions and um that's all it is asking you will receive so whenever i asked that question was this person my wife in a past life you know i got an instant yes but i had to go back and deeper you know deeper deeper meditation was i you know was i and then i i, I finally found out yes and she had the memories of, of suski um and the memories of being a female, you know. So let's go even further into this and, and what you can do to help you out um, just by my past, you know, observations. So there was a reflection. This is the other thing I'd like to you to pay attention to you. Everything in this universe is a reflection. So I am a divine reflection of you. If you are seeing some image reflect off of my face or around my head, that can be a clue to who you were in a past life. That can be a clue to who you are. If you see an image or a face mask, because that's exactly what I've seen. I was watching Young Pharaoh's YouTube channel, and I had seen the... Ne- Nemes. I have, I had seen the Nemes on his head and back to the first shadow that I had seen. It was a Nemes. It was a Nemes. And whenever you look up who wore the Nemes, there was King Tut that, that came up. I don't know how to pronounce the name, but Tut. King Tut. And he was the one that wore the Nemes. And before then, I had done my past life regression work during a meditation. I asked, who else was I other than Bob Marley and Suski? And I had got the answer that I was a 19-year-old boy that died. And I also, King Tut died at 19. And whenever I look in the reflection in the mirror, you're going to get the same reflection as if you're looking at me. Because... The rule is, in this universe, everything is mirrored, everything is reflected. So I am a divine reflection of you, literally. I mean, facial structures and everything. Whenever I seen this man's facial structure, King Tut, I knew I was King Tut because I was seeing his facial structure in other folk, reflecting it. You know what I'm saying? And I seen the Nemez on, on my shadow and I seen it in my reflection by looking at young Pharaoh. It wasn't young Pharaoh that had the Nemez on. It was me that had the Nemez. You hear what I'm saying? It was me. So that's just another sense. Everything's a reflection. So if you, you might be looking at somebody thinking you're looking at their aura. You know what I'm saying? In a sense, I looked at him. I thought I'm looking at his aura. I thought he was a real pharaoh in a past life. Nemez. So I thought he was wearing a Nemez in the fifth dimension where time doesn't exist. So I thought 
immediately that young Pharaoh was a Pharaoh in the past life. But then I had realized whenever I started seeing the Nimes in the mirror, looking at myself, I would see the Nimes in the mirror. And then looking at myself, I would see Bob Marley's locks and Bob Marley. So it all kind of fades together in a sense in the fifth dimension. So just like knowing thyself. And then like I said, meeting folk. You know, I met this man and he said he, he thought he was Freddie Mercury in a past life. And I looked at his vessel. I looked at Freddie Mercury's vessel and Freddie Mercury was marked up. He was marked up with, with bayonet wounds. So I knew immediately this man was was Freddie Mercury because he had messaged me and I had died in the Korea in, in the war in China and he had also died in the war in China and a lot of folk that I'm attracted to are folk that I knew in a past life so he died in this war in China and he was Freddie Mercury and Freddie Mercury got marked up with the wounds that, that you, you only got if you go to, if you go to war w with China. So it was very obvious at that point. And, you know, um, just asking you will receive. That's the message for today. Asking you will receive in perfect divine timing. Do your meditations. I'm not saying you're going to get perfect memory of a past life. You know what I'm saying? You're going to get answers. You're going to know. That synchronicity, <laughs> if you look past it, you know, you were not going to realize, but you know, it seems like it's been perfect timing for this past life regression work. I'm new to awakening. I've probably only been in a spiritual awake for two years in a sense. And you know, nine months of past life regression work periodically, <laughs> you know, I got called to do this. Um, so, you know, the, the new update on my past life regression work is that I was King Tut. I am King Tut. I mean, I'm not, I'm not like, I'm King Tut. I'm Bob Marley. I'm Robert E. Lee. <laughs> Suski. Manny Tega. But in reality, you know, we just got to like lose all those labels and lose all those things. We're all one. We're all one, we're all connected, you know what I'm saying? This is just, you know, me and my personal past life regression, you know, what has came up, you know, and what I know to be, uh, you know, what I know to be now. Um, even with the, uh, I was in a past life regression meditation, I just asked myself, who was I in a past life after asking numbers of time? That's again, persistence and consistent is the key to success. After asking numbers of time, I asked, who was I in a past life? Again, and, and I, after I already knew about Bob Marley, so I had already got all these breakthroughs. You know what I'm saying? It's just here recently, it's just breakthrough after breakthrough after breakthrough. It shows how the persistence and the consistence can, can work in your favor. Um, but I just ask, who was I in a past life? Next thing you know, General Robert E. Lee. <laughs> oh my gosh. It just comes up like right up on the head. It was like General Robert E. Lee. And I'm like, I'm like, how's this is crazy. I don't even, I just Googled it. I'm like, General Robert E. Lee, sure enough, <laughs> the leader of the Confederate Army. I'm like, oh yeah. Sounds like it. Sounds like it. Sounds like it. I looked at the eyes. That's another thing. You look at the eyes, you know. If you look at the eyes, you know, like, you know what I'm saying? You know, you know what soul you're looking at. If you look into the eyes, for real, you know what I'm saying? So whenever I, I looked at, I looked at Robert E. Lee, I looked at Bob Marley, I was like, I was like, you know, I felt it. I was like, okay, that's me. That's my soul. You're in me. You know, you got to know your own, you got to know your own soul and where you spent a large amount of time in a past life, you know, especially whenever they were famous or, or to a some extent. They had some level of, of, uh, you know, recognition. Um, so peace, one love, Bob Marley, um, Manny Tega. I get them names mixed up. Um, one love, 
that's Manning Tega. That, that's how to do your past life regression work real quick. Asking you will receive in perfect divine timing. One love. Make sure you're liked and subscribed to my videos. Thank you for asking that question today. And so I could push out this answer, which I was ready to make this video for y'all. And I'm so grateful that somebody asked in perfect timing. Everything's in perfect timing. Have fun and let me know what y'all find out doing your past life regression meditations now that you know.